Hey everyone, it's Eric Thompson. Hope you're doing awesome. Thanks for checking out this video. This one is gonna help you if you ever struggle with wondering what to send out to your clients. So this is a question I get a lot from the realtors that I work with and coach and mentor. The question I get a lot is, what should I even send out? I have all these different choices on what I could send them. I could email them, I could send them stuff in by direct mail, I could call them. What should I be doing? What's gonna be most effective? I wanna do a good job of attracting business. I wanna do a good job of getting referrals from them, but what should I even send out? And that struggle and the confusion is all stemming from they're overwhelmed, right? So people are overwhelmed with all the different choices, and when people are overwhelmed, they end up often doing nothing, right? So when they do nothing, well, that's no good either. That's not gonna help you attract business or attract referrals from your clients. So I'm gonna help you with that, I'm gonna clarify this for you. So the point with this is, what you're gonna find is, the point is to first understand the role. Okay, so I want you to understand the role of each part of the marketing. Each part of your marketing plays a different role. Uh, the metaphor I like to use is with cooking, all right, and cooking in my home. And how it goes on most nights, because I'm really lucky, how it goes on most nights is that my wife cooks for us most nights. So that's her role, is to cook. And my role, because she cooks, is to do what? It's to do the dishes, okay? Her role is to cook, my role is to do the dishes. I'm a lucky guy. Uh, she does that most nights, and if th those roles were reversed, things wouldn't really turn out so well, okay? So if, if I was the one doing the cooking, our dinners would not be so great. So just like with our dinners in our house, I want you to understand the role that marketing plays for you and how the different pieces of marketing will play a different role for you. To help you understand this, the first thing I want you to do is to draw a pyramid, okay? So draw, draw this pyramid on a blank piece of paper, and we're gonna use this to help clarify for you all the different options you have for marketing and help clarify for you their role. And how this is gonna work is the further up we go in this pyramid, the more effective each piece is, okay? So the highest and most effective items will be up here, the least effective items are, are gonna be down here. So what's the most effective way to communicate to anyone on your list, to communicate to any of your clients, anyone in your database, anyone that you have a relationship with, what's the most effective way? Well, of course, the most effective way is face-to-face. -face. So when you have that face-to-face -face interaction, there's nothing like it, there's nothing better than that. So whether it's lunch or coffee or having a beer with them or having a client appreciation party, seeing them at some kind of networking event, the summer barbecue, the holiday party, whatever it is, there's nothing better than being face-to-face -face with them. So that's the best. So then what's the worst? Well, the worst, the least effective of all the choices is email. That is the least effective. Now, email is better than nothing, but the reason why email is at the bottom is because of number one, the open rates on emails are really, really low, okay? Open rates on email are low. Uh, they're hovering between 11 and 16%, depending on the research that you look at. So not too many people open their email. And also compared to social media, which lives one step above email, compared to social media, people really don't look forward to their email. They don't really enjoy the thought of going through their email and opening their email, but people do enjoy their social media. They actually look forward to opening up their Facebook app or their Instagram app, and that's why social media is more effective than email. Also, social media has become really effective at being able to track behavior, being able to, to target certain audiences, so uh, that's why social media is uh, more effective than email. So what's above social media? What's above social media is direct mail. So direct mail is uh, living above social media. Why is it better than social media? Well, it's tangible. You can hold it, you can carry it around with you. You can show it to someone. It can be in your coffee table, it can be in your kitchen, it can be in your office, it can be in your briefcase, you can carry it around. So you can use it, and I have some examples here, some things that our company does. You can use it to really show some interesting, valuable information. So here's some charts and graphs and maps as to what's going on in the market. So it can be things like this. It can, also, it can also be uh, monthly newsletters like this. So this is one that our company does every single month. This newsletter goes out and uh, our clients get this printed newsletter in the mail showing up in their mailbox every single month, which just has some really terrific information inside of it. So there's some things you can do by direct mail. So it's more valuable than these two because you can hold it, it's tangible, you can carry it around. Also, you can argue that it has a much higher open rate than these 
if it's packaged right, and even if it, in, or if it's a postcard, you could argue it has 100% open rate when you look at direct mail. Okay, so then what's above direct mail? What's above direct mail is a handwritten note. I'll say hand note. What that means is a handwritten note. So it's that, that addressed envelope that you do by hand and you write in the handwritten note. And let me ask you this, when you get a stack of mail from the mailbox, what's the first thing that you open? Well, the first thing you open is the handwritten note, right? You open the handwritten note, very first thing that always is the first thing that you're gonna open. That's why it's living here above direct mail. Then the last one here to mention is the phone. So phone calls are great, they're terrific. Great way to get information to your clients, great way to connect with them. Phone calls like happy birthday, phone calls like happy anniversary, phone calls like, hey, I'm um, uh, calling you because you may have noticed that home around the corner from you went on the market, you may have saw the sign go in the yard, I'm calling to let you know that's on the market for 425, I'll be sure to call you back when it closes so you know what the final sales price is. Calls like that are really valuable, really, really interesting for your clients, they appreciate those, they look forward to those. So. These are all the different things you could do. This is how they rank in terms of their effectiveness. Now, to make this point, for you to understand the role, here's the big takeaway from this little video, okay? The big takeaway is this. The items here that live at the top, so these first three items, these ones that live at the top, the role of these is to build your relationship. So you build relationships with these. And then down here, down here is where you build what? It's where you build your credibility. So you build relationships at the top, you build credibility at the bottom. So the answer is you need all of these things working together. This is a relationship business, so these things uh, you need to, in order to build your relationship. This is also a credibility business, they wanna work with an expert and it's through these items that you demonstrate your expertise so that you build up your credibility. So it's very hard to build a relationship just with these items. So you cannot live on these items alone because it's really challenging to build a relationship on these items uh, just by themselves. It's also harder to build your credibility with these without being able to show them examples of your credibility, to show them interesting market information and statistics and other properties that you're selling. So again, use these to build up your credibility. Use these to build your relationships. These are the ones that are really personal. These are where you're making a personal connection. This is where you're making that, that heart to heart connection with them that's a relationship. This is where you're making that head to head uh, connection with them. So you're building up uh, your credibility, all right? So hopefully that's helpful to you as you think about how to organize your marketing, how to get your plan put together so that you can go accomplish your goals, so that you can go attract more business from your clients, so that you can attract a bunch of referrals from them. So you just do a really great job of connecting with them and helping them out. Starts with you understanding just how to think about your marketing. So if this was helpful for you, Give me a like or give me a share on social media. I would really appreciate it. Again, my name is Eric Thompson. I work with all kinds of realtors, helping them out with their marketing, helping them to build their plan, helping them to understand what they should be doing with their marketing. Thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one.